Um, Sean, I'm Can you just explain the um, situation with your World Cup stars at the moment? Are they all back this weekend? Will they all be stopped in? Or? Well, uh, as far as we're concerned, they're all back in our environment. We had uh, two summer ones, the Canadian and the Irishman, back last week. Um, but due to Wales' uh, progressions, and the, the rest of the boys were back yesterday. Uh, we've got a couple of injuries to some of them, and we've monitored them at an easy couple of days. So uh, I would imagine most of them will be involved in the 23 and weekend. Who are the injuries? Paul James has a, a thumb issue. Um, won't be uh, involved in Adam, obviously, but documented as a calf injury, and he won't be uh, involved either. But uh, all the others are fit for duty. Nigel, have you had any indications from the your boys? George, Steve, and John will be in treatment on Thursday on the board this week. Um, and they're all keen to play. I think that was a uh, key factor, really. You know, it's, uh, it's a very short turnaround, as uh, Sean has mentioned. But, um, my view was always that if they were keen to play and they were fit, uh, both mentally and physically, to do that, then they'd be involved in uh, some capacity. So yes. How big is this game? Just, not just obviously for the derby, but the fact that you've got Europe and the Conference. Well. Yeah, it's a huge game, you know, and um, there's a lot riding on it, particularly for our supporters. But we have pictures to think of as well, and try to integrate um, our World Cup players coming back. Try and get somewhere near what you believe is your starting 15 and your best team. Um, it's, it's very important to, to everybody at this stage, you know, particularly with a tight turnaround with the World Cup players. But um, it's got fairly, uh, it's fairly significant in its own right. Yeah. Sean, can you look a photo look a week ahead or is it focused on this weekend? You can't, can you? There's so many competitive games that like, like come on you that. Uh, if you take your eye off the, the one up and coming rob, then you're going to get bitten. So, no, very similar circumstances for ourselves to the Scarlets. Um, we have had a lot of recent experience in, in this. Um, and it is difficult, it will be difficult for all teams. So, uh, it's a challenge. But likewise, our players were, were all keen to be involved. Um, for us, the pleasing thing this season has been that the, the depth in the squad has formed at the start of the season. We spent a lot of time uh, on the, the squad that was at home, um, particularly from a cultural point of view, to try and uh, do well during this period so that the, there was a, a comfort blanket for when the other boys came back. And uh, looking at training today, then that has been pretty seamless. It's always going to have its difficulties, but. Uh, you know, that, that's just the way it is. And then the good thing perhaps is that the other boys who have done well so far this season have, have made it difficult in terms of um, the other boys coming straight back in and starting. But it's, with regard to Europe, it is what it is this year. And we've taken that sort of attitude, that philosophy this year. It is, uh, it's up for grabs and um, with such a short turnaround, you know, there's not, not a lot more we can do really. Mm. He's six and six in these matches against the Scarlets in, in recent years. Why is, do you think you, the, the Ospreys seem to raise their game for these? Uh, I, don't, I think we've just been better on the day, you know, in certain p parts of the game. The, uh, I think Nigel agree in, in all of those six games, there have been crucial moments right. and we've managed to capitalise on them, that's all. But um, I can tell you now, we haven't once mentioned any of those games in the build-up to this because it's in the past. Um, the Scarlets have been steadily growing over a number of seasons and they're uh, really performing well now and uh, their boys coming back will give them an added boost because they've gone really well in the World Cup. Same as ours, you know. Um, I think all past results cancel themselves out in, into this week because it's a new game, fresh teams and um, it will be about on the night again. So uh, we have, you know, that has no bad into us. Is that what you feel like that, that obviously that 60 point half in last Christmas forgotten about? Yes, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I mean, you can't afford to become too emotional uh, about these things, uh, although it does hurt. Um, but really, you know, uh, Sean, like you said, they've been better than us on those occasions, and that's the way they, they've won. And um, you know, we have to focus on the details, which allow us to perform better than we have. Um, it's never easy. The Ospreys are a very difficult team to play against, um, and their results show that, particularly the you know, start of this season. So it's a real big challenge for us. Um, but you know, we, we, we'll give it everything we've got. Um, we've got some, some quality coming back as well. But similar to the Ospreys as well, the boys that we've had 
and we blooded in this uh, first part of the season. We've done exceptionally well and it's made selection very difficult. And that's exactly what we wanted to be in that situation. And I said to the boys at the start of the season, we want to make sure that by the time the international players come back, they're not two wins and uh, they, they certainly aren't. Shane, there's some of the games George North. How, how much of the, of the showdown now you looking forward to there? You know, it, obviously everyone's talking about it. Could happen. If it does, what 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 it what's it doing? Is this what I supposed to say, David and Goliath? Or something yeah, like that? No, <laughs> no, Andy, I was not here to say that. No, it, it's one of those it's one of those battles. <coughs> yeah, you yeah. like, to look forward to, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'm sure at some point in the game um, that might happen. Uh, <laughs> The difficulty with both of George and Shane is they crop up all over the field, don't they? So, uh, and there's plenty of other battles to focus on as well. You know, right, I'm sure when the teams are announced, you'll see mouth-watering battles. And I, I think, from a, a Welsh rugby perspective, off the back of the World Cup, it's really mouth-watering to the fact that we've got now some real world stars coming together. You know, just in, within, well, obviously for, for this game in, in our region, right on the border with the Scarlets and. And it's great that they can show their ways, you know, publicly there on, on Saturday. So that's great news overall. As far as that contest goes, as I say, I think it'll happen at some stage. Um, or we might try and move Shane around just to keep him away from George. But uh, we we'll wait and see on that. Will there be pressure on George when he comes back? Now you'll have to what he achieved in New Zealand. I think there'll be pressure on all the players. You know, it's uh, you know, they, they've achieved quite a lot out there and. Um, as ever in Wales, uh, we either the world's best or the world's worst, and um, there's nothing much in between. So there'll be a lot of pressure on these boys to perform. But I think um, more importantly, from a coaching perspective, it's about the internal pressure that you create and generate from what the boys who have stayed behind have done. Uh, and also, as I've said quite clearly, you know, it's pointless putting these players into this match if they're not 100% ready and focused for it. And that was the key thing for me. You know, I, they've had the opportunity, and it wasn't a loaded question. They've had the opportunity to say, "No, I'm not ready for this match." But they all to a man said they want to play and they want to be part of it. So you know, they've shown they're willing and they're ready. And that's pressure in itself because they've never got them perform uh, in a very difficult arena. Sean, from your perspective, you've had some tough games already this season, but having come back off the back of your first league defeat of the season, is this an added pressure of test? Uh, every game is. Honestly, I keep saying this, and people think I'm joking, but uh, look at Trevise on the weekend, 50 points, and there's no, no easy games. And <coughs> might as well tell you, going to Glasgow, we knew at half time that we hadn't taken our chance with five minutes before the break to, to nail the game. Um, even though we were upbeat with the way we played, we knew we had to nail it early in the second half. We didn't. We can't give any side a, a sniff. Um, you know, the difficult side to beat. We're, we're pretty tamping about it, to be honest. Um, so in that respect, we're expecting a bit of a backlash this week. And um, some players didn't take their opportunity. You know, so um, it, it, the competition that we talk about together is is very very important because it keeps players on edge, it keeps them performing to the edge. And that's what we've got to have. We, we need to perform every week now to stay ahead. So, whereas we've won six out of seven, we're only two points clear at the top. And that's just, you know, we haven't picked up any bonus points or anything like that. So, we, people will chase you and chase you and chase you like as if we would chase. And, um, you know, that's, that's why it becomes a very important game for us in the weekend. This is a home game. Can't look to, to Europe. This is a pro 12 game. We want to stay on top. We want to make sure we, we do well in our home games to stay clear of the pack. And, that's the bottom line. Have you noticed any of that backlash in training? Have you noticed that the hunger is a bit more pointy? Uh, I, no, no. You've not, I've noticed energy. You know, uh, again, that's from boys coming back and uh, being part of it again. Um, but we've we've significantly held back uh, the last two days so that we get things right, get things back up to speed. We don't want people smashing it into each other. We'd rather just smash into the scars on Saturday. So um, yeah, no, you can't. I couldn't gauge that at that No, it's very good. Um, I think it tends to be the way, isn't it? You know, when you pick up a couple of wins, uh, you don't seem to have so many injured players uh, for some reason. <laughs> Why that is, but. Um, um, so anyone coming back? Um, well, all of the World Cup yeah. players will be available. Yeah. Oh, I'm just thinking, Lou Reed. Played um, on the weekend for the RFC and went well for 40 minutes, so he's back and available. Um, but apart from that, there's very few. You know, we've got Josh Turnbull who's out, 
a couple of others long term we already know about, but uh, in general we've got a, a very good uh, bill of health. What were the two prompts, then, Julius and Thomas and Deke? Yeah, yes, still there will be available for this. Uh, we're not sure about Deeks yet. Uh, he's still about 50 50 call at the moment. And what's the situation with Reese in terms of his shoulder? Who's Reese um, Reese is not available for this game, um, but we anticipated that he should be available um, the following week. But uh, you know, Steve is very keen to go, and I think Steve sees this as an opportunity maybe to grab hold of the shirt, which is great. Just hang on the uh, injury front for the Ospreys. What's the news on Dan Bigger? He's still asking the shin injury, is that right? Yeah, he's fine. He's trained it fully today. Uh, bit of a precaution as much as anything. Um, uh, just been doing a lot of kicking recently and uh, felt a bit sore. So, and you know, likewise, we, uh, we wanted to give Matthew a little run there. Um, which he had, and uh, but Daniel's been back in full training as of today, so he's new.